Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and I'm here today to share a small obstacle that I encountered while creating this website. Um, so I'm, I'm working on a site for my sister, who is a baker and a caterer, and I'm working on a website for her, and I encountered this small little obstacle, and it's something that I've figured out in the past, but it's, it's again, with web development, when you don't use what you know you forget and you lose it so this is something that i i hadn't done in a while um, so it took me a second to remember or to figure out and research how to do it so basically the problem is i have my screen here and it is um, basically the smallest that my browser will let me put it um, so kind of like mobile layout um, but I have it here and I was like, oh, why is this on this line? I don't want it there, blah, 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 blah. So what I did is I researched and I Googled. <laughs> That's how I did. And I found this. I will put the, dis uh, the description to this um, in the comments below. But I, I typed in Google and I said, what did I say? What did I say? Make an element stay on the same line. Because I was like, oh, that's not what I want. So uh this is not what i wanted the whole little on the second line thing right so i googled it and i typed that in and i went to there and i chose did i choose no i chose this one how to force elements stay in html so i read it and i was like okay how to force html stay on the same line blah 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 blah, blah. forcing inline block elements on one line set white space to no wrap and on a parent element that has overflow x set to auto and then display inline block and then it will do uh what it's supposed to do right so what i did was is i went and i basically copied that code i copied that this right here and i implemented it in here but then I had different settings for my media queries, so it didn't work at first. But once I put the correct um, max width of you know what I was looking for, um, I went ahead and added uh, the code, and it still didn't work. So again, I went back to Google, and I actually went to my screen, and what I did was is I double clicked on this or right clicked on it, excuse me, and hit inspect. And then what I hit inspect, I right clicked again on the element that it is. And I went to copy and I went to copy selector. So when I did that, I came back over here. Let me delete that and I'm gonna put that right here. All right, put that right there. And that's not showing because it's, no, because it's not an eight, sorry. <laughs> okay, so save that and boom, it worked. But let me show you what happened the first time when I copied that. When I copied that um, selector from the uh, F12 from Google or from the inspector, um, it was this. Right. And I was like, oh, no, no, that's way too much. I don't need all that. So then I deleted. I saw this and then I deleted it all the way over here. And I said, is that going to work? And it did. So that was the small problem that I encountered. Um, and this is one solution on how to fix it. So I just wanted to share that with everybody really quick. I got really happy because I'll say six months ago or a year ago, this would have taken me forever to figure out. And it took me about three minutes. So super excited. I hope if you watch this video, this is a, um, I hope that if this is a problem that you have, that by watching this video, it can solve your problem. So I just wanted to share that with everybody and say, keep on going. Just keep on going. All right. Thanks guys, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.